Hola y bienvenidos. I hope you're ready for another episode of Couch Time with Sonia. Welcome back. We are so excited that you've joined us. Couch Time with Sonia wouldn't even exist if it wasn't for you. So if you've missed anything from season one or season two, go back and catch up at Couch Time with Sonia and that's Sonia with a J dot com. We are now in season three. Can you believe it? It's, Unbelievable. It has gone by so fast. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know Sonia and I have had a blast. It's been awesome, but let's jump right into what our topic yes. is today. Our topic today is all about forgiveness, boundaries, and self-love. Yeah. You know, I love the self-love part. Yes. That's going to be my favorite. But to get there, we've got to go through some things. That's right. There's some process. There's a process to everything. And so our next guest that we're going to, after we take the break, that you're going to get to meet has done all of those steps in the process. So grab a cup of coffee and grab some tea if you're a tea drinker, and we'll be right back. For couch time with Sonia. One of the most important events in life is having a baby. The closest hospital may not be the best choice for your family. Now, there's Stork Advisor. With Stork Advisor, you can keep your loved ones informed. There's a labor alert right at your fingertips. Stork Advisor even offers you a different pregnancy tip every day. After you've had your baby, tell us about your experience and leave a Stork rating. We want to keep other expecting families like you informed. With Stork Advisor, you can know what to expect when you're expecting. If you would like to be a guest or advertise your business on Couch Time with Sonia, I would love to hear from you. Email me. Visit CouchTimeWithSonia.com. And then there was life. Born to color outside the lines. Born for such a time as this. You showed up on the planet to produce a dream. You, yes you, were born with purpose, with words. Friends, imagine that your dreams can become your reality by the words you speak. It all starts today. It starts with you. Creation, formation, transformation, all begin with change. The battle is in your mind, but your voice is your weapon. Speak life, believe, prosperity, creative, daring. The best way to predict your future is to create it. Your future is unwritten. Let's begin writing today. Your words create your world. Welcome back. Remember, today's episode is about boundaries. Welcome back. Today's episode is about forgiveness, boundaries, and self-love. And we can't wait to introduce you to our guest. We have such a special guest today. So she's a close friend, someone that we truly love. But we know that her story is going to inspire you. So before we hold you back any longer, let's welcome Kimber Jones. Hi, Hello, Kimber. beautiful. You How look are so you? gorgeous. So good to see you. Come on, girl. You know yes. what? Have a Let's seat on the couch. Healthy. Welcome to the couch. Welcome to the couch. <laughs> so, have you had a good day so far? Yes, I have. Awesome. The, the weather is yellow and misting, which means it's like, you know, death level threat for driving. You're, you're very it's right. Fine. Especially here in Houston, yes. right? <laughs> I mean, but, okay. but we're in Houston, so we're used to it. Yeah. Well, we are. Yeah. The other buddy else, they. <laughs> Not sure. I kind of agree with you on that yeah. one. <laughs> well, we want to jump right in. Okay. Um, we know that here on the couch, your story matters. That's really what we do. It's we tell people's stories. And your story matters, Kimber. And we're so excited that you've decided today is the day to share it. So start. Well, I think um, with any great book and any mm -hmm. great speech, uh, the first few words are usually the most important. So mm -hmm. to start, I want to say thank you. 
and not just to you, but to everyone in my life, to my Savior, um, and to my little boy. Yes. Anna. I just, I'm very thankful in, in everything that I'm doing, um, because without thankfulness, I wouldn't be here. Amen. Um, Amen. With, with the, the different topics that we're going to discuss today, I, I don't know that any of them are more important than the other. Mm -hmm. I think Agreed. that they're interrelated in, in how they're, they're connected. I think they're, they're all equally important. Um, mm -hmm. For me, of the three, it started with boundaries. Mm -hmm. And I had, to, I had to understand that boundaries was actually a form of self-love. Mm -hmm. And then in order to have boundaries and have healthy boundaries, you also had to have forgiveness. So for That's me, so all three of them are, are kind of interrelated and it's hard to separate them out. I love that. As, as, as one in and of itself. Mm -hmm. But I love the way that you, it's for your story. Yes. It's what fits you. Yes. And I love that. Yes. You know, we mentioned all three aspects, and you truly can't have one without the other. How do you move into one without forgiveness? You know, you um, okay, so I guess we'll get comfortable. You're exactly yes. right. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, a, a big part of me with my boundaries, I'm, I'm a dates girl, not like, you know, fancy dates, which, I mean, I wouldn't say no, but mm -hmm. dates like on the calendar, and there's specific dates that I can go back to and, and remember and go, okay, that was a day that, that changed my life, that, mm -hmm. that, you know, I wasn't, you know, that specific day didn't make me who I am right now this day, but it led me on the path to get to where I am uh, today. Mm -hmm. So um, dates like December 18th, 2014, that was the day I found out that I was expecting Garner. Mm -hmm. And part of my story, which, you know, we don't have time for the, the whole thing. You'll have to read the book later when, when it gets Ooh, done. I can't wait speak for that. that. Um, yes, yes. That's right. Yes. Um, but part of, of why that was such a significant date is because I had gone 14 years and had four different doctors tell me that I would never have a baby and that that wasn't, that wasn't in the cards for me. So... In self-preservation, not really self-love, but self-preservation, I, I put that to the side, and that's no longer a dream I can have because I'm protecting myself from mm -hmm. disappointment. Mm -hmm. So I'm mm -hmm. going to throw myself into this world of being the world's greatest aunt, which is known as K-Bear, mm -hmm. and uh, that, was, that was that for me. But then when this miracle came, it, it absolutely changed the full-on trajectory of my life, and that was December 18th, 2014. I what think that alone... Day. That alone should inspire someone. My hope it gives someone I hope, hope it does. out there. Yes, yes. someone that, that's walking. It does. Doctors are wrong all the time. Yes, yes. they they yes. don't like they just have papers. Like they right. don't they don't know. Right. But, I mean, I love doctors. I'm thankful for doctors. But they are. <laughs> but what I what I'm more thankful for is faith. Oh, absolutely. My yeah. God trumps any doctor. Come on. Yes. Every My day. My God trumps any doctor. Every day. Um, so, so that was a significant day. Uh, another significant day was December 9, 2015. Um, Garner was about four months old and I was faced with, with a really hard decision. I had lived mm -hmm. in a season of about eight years of just reckless living. Um, and when, when I found out I was expecting him, um, one of the first thoughts that came, or no, not one of the first thought that came to me, um, and this, pause, when I'm telling my story, mm -hmm. I'm conscious that I'm telling my story yes, and I'm not trying to um, cast judgment on anyone so else good. and right. their story that's and their good. choices because that's, that belongs to them. That yes. doesn't belong to me. Well, that's one of the things that here at Couch Time with Sonia, we want to make sure that every person understands and knows. Yes, we have guests that sit on the couch and they share their story, but the power is they share their story right. and their right. truth. So we thank you because so that's, it's, that's, it's not about I have to share else. my story, my choices. Yes. Now, the tricky part with that, though, is because we're people and we're relational yes. beings. Right. Therefore, we're connected to people, which means I'm connected to their choices. Mm -hmm. But that me telling my story is not to cast judgment on anyone else and yes. their choices and their story. Yes. Um, but... So going back to December 18th, I, the first thought, I'm looking at the pregnancy test and I'm excited and I don't know what, because this has never happened before, right. you know, and <laughs> my first thought is, how am I going to be a single mom? 
okay, well, that's not a normal yeah. thought. Right. And, and now I can reflect on it and go, that's the Holy Spirit preparing me for, for the road that, that I was headed, mm -hmm. that, that was potential. Because right. I don't know that it was fate. I don't know that it was destined to be that. But I think that the Holy Spirit prepares us for yes, whatever yes. comes. Because yes. it's not just my choices. It's someone else's choices that I'm right. in covenant with. And mm -hmm. how, does that, how, how does that play out? And how does that connect? I think that's to... powerful in itself, Kimber. Is that be, because someone listening is thinking that it's all about them and no, their decision no, only. No, 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 no. And it's not. It's so many other factors and people that yes, are involved. Yes, yes. So and thanks now, for bringing that out. And now a baby. Yeah, exactly. And, baby. and and that baby baby changes everything. I yes. mean, it even changes a little story in the Bible that we know about. Come on, yeah. that's um, right. more, more than one time, but one yeah. big time we know about. Um, mm -hmm. But with that, so then the December 18th and then December 9th, 2015, I had gone to my pastor and said, I'm at a really ugly crossroads and I don't know what to do. I, I'm, I'm considering these things that I've been taught. I mean, I was raised in church, you know, I, right. are you kidding? I'm, I, pastor's home, like a legacy of pastors, right, like right. no pressure. Right? right. So I'm, I'm considering these things that I know that are, they're basically just, I mean, it's your one way ticket south. Like that's mm -hmm. not, that's not acceptable. Mm -hmm. Um, but knowing I am losing me in right. all of this right. and now I have, I have this baby. It's not just, I'm, I'm working on it. This baby is here. Mm -hmm. Garner is here. And I realized I, I need some help. So I went to my pastor and we talked. And December 9th, 2015, I, it was a pivotal day because I came to uh, three promises that, that I still hold true to, that I still, I mean, you have bad days, but of course. you work course. on it, right? Yes. And I will not lose me. No. And I will protect my peace. And I will not participate in dysfunction. Mm -hmm. And those are three things that... They've they've kept me alive. Right. They've I mean literally like which means from you made actually a taking my life. That's that is those are three promises that have kept me alive and this miracle of Garner. That's along beautiful with it. though, Kimber, because you made a choice. Yes. Which is a, a conscious decision. Absolutely. To say no, I, I will live in peace. Mm -hmm. I will. Amen. I will. And and you're sitting, you know, on a couch. And I remember I was actually staying with my parents, and I'm I couldn't I just could not do church that day. It was just it was too much. So I'm. My baby's snoring. I can hear him, which is just the sweetest sound in the yeah. world to me. And I'm sitting on the couch in my mom's living room, and they're at church because it's Sunday, and that's what we do. Mm -hmm. And I'm self-love, self-care, self-preservation. And I, I said out loud in my prayer, God, I know you hate divorce. I get it. But when I think about... I, I don't feel peace. And I know because mm -hmm. First Corinthians 7, it teaches us, you know, all about yes. how to live married right. and how yes. to live in peace and how to, you know, if your husband does go off, if your wife does go off and then they want to come back and that, that and you make it work and you figure out ways. But it also says at the end of the whole thing, it says, protect your peace. Yes. God has called us to live in peace. After all of those things yes. of how you live, God has called us to live in peace. And that was just a moment of of release, of clarity for me, yes. of this is no longer up to me. Someone else has to make some choices. I have made my choices. I'm, I'm prepared for whatever's coming, mm -hmm. but I will protect my peace. I think yes. that's important for the audience. As Kimber said, protect your peace. Mm -hmm. she, you know, she struggled with this, this decision, yeah. but at the end of the day, she knew she needed to protect her peace. Yes. One thing that I'll definitely tell you is that we commend you. We honor Thank you. you. Because I heard you say, you know, yes, legacy and growing up and I, I'm there <laughs> knowing what the word of God says and knowing. But there is also it's also a personal conviction. Absolutely. And I love the opera that you take. You took that upon yourself to say, no, Lord, this is about me and I will do what you right. are leading me. to. Well, do. And then I had to pivot it into, mm -hmm. you know, I'm no longer bringing shame on my family mm -hmm. because here I am walking this this road of of what we're not about and what, what we preach against. And not that it, it we're preaching for marriage, not yes. we're preaching for peace. We're, we're doing that as, as a family. And here I am, the opposite of what your message is, um, but then having to, to turn it. And, and that oh was one thing was I had to change my thought process mm -hmm. because as these dates rolled out, I noticed that it was a thought that changed and that, mm -hmm. and then that changed my behavior mm -hmm. and that this is the high ground. And if I can take the high Come ground, on. then, then I'm good. Come on, girl. Um, but I had to go, you know what? 
this might not be pretty and this might not fit yeah. what I was raised to believe as right, mm -hmm. but I am strong yes. and I can do hard things and I will make this look good. Yes. So I want you to understand and know if that's you and if you've had to make a choice and you've had to make a hard decision, just know that if you're following peace, it's the right decision and it's the right decision right. for you. We'll be right back. Let's be honest, making a lukewarm marketing video is fairly simple, but who wants lukewarm marketing? Instead, how about something that conveys your unique message? Well, that takes creativity, and creative is what we are. We design custom logos. We even offer professional print services. Our goal is to showcase how good your idea is, no matter what your product is. Whether it's social media marketing for a new author, or the artwork for the book itself, we can help. You've created a new app and need a TV commercial to show it to the world. We can help. Now, they're Stork Advisor. If you're a photographer trying to show off your work in a unique way, we can help. Need a promo for your TV show? We can help with that, too. It's Couch Time with Sonia. We're an artistic bunch, and we love the creative process. We're not trying to be the best in Houston. We're trying to be the best for you. CEO Jalea Davis is making history by becoming the youngest African-American female to own a television station in the nation. Along with her colleague, President Crystal Holmes, these women are becoming a part of the 1.3% African-American television station ownership. Get ready for Iconic Television, an all-new channel coming to your TV on KVVV Channel 15.10. Covering Houston's local inspiration, entertainment, health, wellness, fitness, family, visual artists, comedians, and more. Streaming 24-7 on IconicTelevision.com. Be sure to stay tuned for the latest and greatest on Iconic Television, where everyone can be iconic. Welcome back. Before the break, we welcomed Kimber Jones to the couch, and she was telling us all about her story. As you know, Couch Time with Sonia is all about your story matters. You were talking earlier, Kimber, about boundaries. Kind of talked about a little bit about forgiveness, a little bit about boundaries, and a little yes. bit on self-love. But how would you tell those who are watching, how did you set healthy boundaries? Because, you know, as women, <laughs> we don't always know how to set boundaries, no, right, Kimber? No, no, no. We're good at putting because on masks. Because our society, we owe everything Come to on, everybody. Right. You're so. exactly right. <laughs> um, and boundaries, boundaries mean you have to say the word no, mm -hmm. which is completely unacceptable because mm -hmm. your answer should always be yes. Right? Mm -hmm. That's very um, hard to do. Which, which is not true. Um, it is healthy to say no, and yes. it's okay to say no. Uh, in fact, sometimes I think it's, it's more right to say no. Um, for for point. whatever it is that because in all of this you're following peace, mm -hmm. so you're 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 guarding your peace, but you're following it. So you're looking at your heart, you're examining yourself, and it's when when I think of doing something, does that give me peace? Do mm -hmm. I feel good about it? Does my gut feel good? Is my neck relaxed? Do I break out into That's a cold good. sweat? Paying attention to your body and 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 just the the physiological part of you, mm -hmm. because. Peace goes into stress. That's the opposite that's of, of peace is being stressed. And so when you feel stressed, that's a, a good trigger. Indicator, that's the yeah. big, right. big word, big indicator trigger, um, is that there, there might need to be a boundary there. Because mm -hmm. if you're always tired, if you're always pouring something out, if someone's always taking something from you, whether they mean to or not, or they know it or not, mm -hmm. it's, it's still extracting things from you that you need for you. Because just like the airplane, you have to put Come your on. mask on first, first before you can care for anyone else. Which, see, this goes into yeah, the self-care and the self-love. <laughs> and it's, 
it's, it's true, all like a big said, like spaghetti blends. sandwich. Yes. <laughs> but like you said, it blends all together. It does. It does. Um, some things that I had to do for for me with boundaries that was was very hard because I was I was a yes girl. I was a people pleaser. Um, I was wow. yeah. I was the oldest, and and it was sometimes confusing because um, I, I grew up with with all of these you know younger cousins and brother, and then my sister came a whole lot later, and so mm -hmm. then it was. I have all these responsibilities, and so my answer is yes. I'm supposed. This is what's expected of me, um, and and not in a negative way or, or an ugly right. way. It's just that's what family does. You right. know, you just pull it together, and um, so with the boundaries, and I, I took that into my adult life. Mm -hmm. I took that that protective that I have to take care of that. I have to um, to guard and, and, and to save that savior mentality. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that might have been like bred into me being in a right. in a ministry home. Um, but recognizing that when I'm setting those boundaries, it's actually for their good too. Right. It's not just for my good because that can feel selfish, and we're taught to not be selfish. Now that's beautiful. That it's setting boundaries is a two way street. Right. It's not just for you personally. Right. It's looking at others around you and yes. going, okay, I need to help them as well. Let, let me help you. Uh -huh. yeah. But see, there's that let, help let again. Help yeah. <laughs> but see, there we are yeah, helping is, again, right? Is. So I uh, like a little visual that that I have is um, grew up around cattle and ranching and horses and all that stuff um, and so when you when you put a fence up and then there's there's this gate we were always taught that you leave the gate the way you found it and mm. there's a fence for a reason because otherwise then you have animals all over the place and that's just not mm -hmm. not good so it's it's good for the animals but it's also good for the roads for the cars for the people traveling because then it keeps everybody safe that's good right. so boundaries keep you that's safe good. um and 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 yeah, yeah a boundary is a rule and some people live by the mantra that rules are meant to be broken mm -hmm. um i am kind of a personality like rules make it fun you know <laughs> yes you are <laughs> like that, <laughs> that way. um because then then how do you know who won you know? yeah <laughs> and i need to win uh, no but with the boundaries that i had to set i had to look at some of the people in my life and go you're taking more out of me than i even have inside of me hmm. um a literal thing i i have to to put my phone on do not disturb at certain times of the day certain hours of the day and then for oh. certain people and it, it doesn't send them a message like, no. hey, get out of my life. Right. Right. It is actually a, a, a wall. It's, it's that, that barbed wire fence for me mm -hmm. to protect me, to keep me in my greener pasture so that my day isn't bombarded and interrupted by is whatever good. it is they're trying to put on me because they're walking through their own mess of things. They're, they're, they're awesome. trying to make their own choices, but I have been the, the voice of reason for so long. Mm -hmm but I no longer have that to give to you. Right. And, and when helping you is hurting me, I'm done helping for a while. Mm, that's good. Um, so that, that's, a, that's a, a literal thing. I, I do that today mm -hmm. even still. But that's a very good point to make, especially yes. in this day and time where yes. telephones are 24-7 yes. and it takes our life. Still in my sleep? Nuh-uh, -uh, get out of my phone. Yes. No. That is I love, awesome. I love that you said when helping someone is hurting you mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. time for a, a, a fence a gate yeah. yes. something to protect you and them yeah I think the the number one thing that I would honestly say you just spoke about was knowing the boundary but being okay and going I'm gonna help even the other person mm -hmm. have a boundary. Yeah. I think that's beautiful because I, I need to take that <laughs> advice myself. You don't know I'm helping you. I'm putting up a barbed wire fence. It's electric. Oh. <laughs> it's invisible. Daggers. Yeah. You never know when you yeah. cross it. No. I'm but isn't that beautiful it's, even for us as women? Yeah. I mean, Kimber and the, I'm, I'm a living witness. As women, we, we don't always know how to put up a boundary. Right. And there's times we get with our girlfriends, we get with our friends, and what do we do? is that we're allowing all of our boundaries to run. Right. And then we're taking on their issues mm -mm. when we shouldn't no. be taking on no. their issues. No, you got your own thing and I'll, yes. I'll listen and I'll help. But another thing with boundaries mm, so too good. is 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 watching who you're with mm -hmm. when you're in something hard. Because if mm -hmm. you're in something hard, it's really important that you know who is speaking into Come you. On. Right. And, and who... Who, who do you, who, whose ear do you have is what mm -hmm. I'm trying to say. So they, you're telling people these things and you're walking through, but then who has your ear and who, who can speak into you? Um, knowing that you've got this track record that, that, that I believe in, that I see that there's progress, there's mm -hmm. faith, there's hope, there's, 
there's all of these fruits of the spirit of positivity. Right. And so, yeah, I want that in my life. But if you're struggling a bus, come on, I, I don't need yeah. you That's exactly talking right. into my ear. I got my own bus and That's I'm exactly struggling right. all by myself. Yeah. I don't need that. Yeah. That yeah. extra. That extra energy bus. Mm. Uh -huh. So there's a, yes. there's a barbed wire. That's there's a, there's a do not disturb. There's a, I'll call you later. There's Did you a, hear that? That is a valid point. And I hope you took note there yes. because there's many times that you might be walking through the same thing. And what are you doing? You're taking on all that excess energy, which is not healthy. No. Kimber, no. you just gave a lesson, girl, right there. I could <laughs> drop the mic right there. Well, we always talk about leaving nuggets. You've left a couple already. Oh, and so you're you. not, we're not even done. Um, no, I'm, I'm just living. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, but your story is so important because those nuggets are going to be key for someone on that mm -hmm. on that television, on the I on Facebook so. watching. So, However yeah. they're seeing it, they need to hear this. So we've said it at the beginning and we'll say it again. We thank you for being here thank and you. for your thank transparency you. and just sitting on the couch with us. I like it. I want to kind of move into this forgiveness area. Yeah. Forgiveness <laughs> is, of course, we know, walking through. Forgiveness is not as easy as people always no, think No, forgiveness is. is ugly and hard. You know, um, yeah. and the real conversations that we have here is we need to be real about it. Forgiveness is not pretty mm -mm. and it's not easy. Um, yes, it's beautiful after the fact, but walking through mo modes of forgiveness is mm -hmm. not easy. So honestly, I would ask you, how have you walked through life in the hard spots of your life and knowing that forgiveness needs to trump things. It does. Um, well, I would say that forgiveness is actually continual. Mm -hmm. I don't know that it's, mm -hmm. you arrived at it like, That's good. oh, I'm, I'm at forgiveness, mm -hmm. let's move it's on. It's not a destination. No, I know, and, and then that, that feeling of, oh, now it's beautiful because I've forgiven. There are things in my life currently that, that we haven't even gotten into um, that I, I don't know when I'll get to that forgiveness mm -hmm. to say that's beautiful and I have I forgave mm -hmm. where it's past tense right. I think that it's it's an action verb it's constant mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I have to do to practice forgiveness is to speak positive mm -hmm. and to pray for those that I, I want to strangle with the barbed wire right. fence from that's my real. Mm -hmm. if I can just that's right no, <laughs> that's, that's, real. Honest, yeah. that's real um because that's that, that sometimes that hurt is so deep that you're mm -hmm. just and you're so angry you're just and you no. want them to hurt you too, know what you know? Jesus plot a whip I will let me uh, let me break yes. but that's the realness I think as women we wear these masks we mm -hmm. wear these masks and these cover-ups right and we don't want to reveal that we hurt and sometimes it's not pretty that we hurt. Well, because that shows vulnerability. Mm. Right. And being vulnerable means that you're weak, which is absolutely false. not true. That is Correct. completely false because being vulnerable, being authentic, is actually a bolder, stronger sense of yes, yourself because you're able to show the parts that hurt, the That's parts exactly that aren't, right. you know, covered up with concealer, the parts mm -hmm. that aren't fresh and, and beautiful. That's exactly right. um, but it's the life part of you. Yes. It's the It's the what made me me yes. part of me. It's that. That, that scar, that, that yeah. war wound, that, yeah. yeah, you better believe I lived through that. That's exactly yeah. right. Well, I'm then still one here. thing is, how can we help others if we're not willing to reveal our scars? How can well, we? Well, for me and mm -hmm. what I do, um, I go to a lot of therapy. Mm -hmm. So um, in, in the midst of, of probably one of, one of the nastier seasons of, of my life that really kind of revolved around unhealthy self-care and self-love, um, because then it was it was negative coping mechanisms and mm -hmm. and it's it's things that you know women and people we, we we deal with it all the time we don't talk about it yeah. and it it's you know the crowd with with drugs and with drinking and with mm -hmm. um, with other activities that all go in with that right. that's right. that's not uplifting that's not positive that doesn't bring life into a situation you heard Kimber talk about therapy we're going to take a quick break and we're going to come back because she's going to actually touch on the importance of therapy. And let's throw away the stigma that therapy is bad. Right. That stigma needs to go out of the door, yes, and sure. out of the window. <laughs> and she's going to talk about that when we come right back. Connect with fellow millennials, creatives, professionals, and entrepreneurs within the all new millennial community. Join in and get connected with local events, volunteer opportunities, and mentorship programs with the next generation. 
For more information, visit themillennialcommunity.com and become a member today. Membership includes access to special events, networking events, and civic engagement opportunities. Check out our online calendar for upcoming event opportunities, such as millennial think tanks, community building events, the new Sea Live experience, and much more. Members will also be invited to join an online membership group, have opportunities to pair with local students in the Houston community for mentorship programs. Follow us on all social media platforms and get connected with the millennial community today. Are you ready for couch time with Sanya? We're back. In the previous segments, we've been talking to Kimber Jones. She's talked all about boundaries and forgiveness. Now we're going into another topic. You all know this topic as our So Loved movement. You've heard it here before, but today we're going to dive a little bit deeper with Kimber Jones. So our So Love movement is So Love People, Love People. And what I've noticed is that you made a decision to love yourself. Yes. And so talk it didn't to start us about out that, that way, though. Mm -hmm. it, it started out with I have a baby and I got to protect him. Mm -hmm. um, but then it turned into that which I guess if we back up a little bit, mm -hmm. um, so in, in the throes of, of really not good living, mm -hmm. I realized I'm not good mm -hmm. and I'm going down a really dangerous path that, that I, have, I have seen it's, it's difficult, if not impossible, to come back from. Mm -hmm. um, so with that, I thought I'm gonna need some therapy I'm going to need some counseling. I'm going to need somebody to help me. Mm -hmm. uh, but in that season, I was actually living in an RV, uh, traveling, kind of traversing the nation, just whatever happens, happens. And wherever we're going to go, we're going to go. Mm -hmm. um, but I realized I needed it so desperately, but I knew I was not at a place where I could actually put roots down, find mm -hmm. a counselor, and, and really dig into right. what I was having to, to dig out of, right. basically. So I thought, hey, I know, I'll go back to school and get my master's in counseling and I'll be my own counselor. Uh, <laughs> okay. I don't. <laughs> you don't recommend that, do you? I don't recommend okay. that. All right. Um, because when you're doing that, you then think, oh my goodness, I have everything. Yes, <laughs> of course. Like, you're diagnosing I everything. am schizophrenic, narcissistic. <laughs> I am all of these and things. And no, you're not. And no, I'm not. That's right. No, I'm not. Um, I mean, I may have exhibited some of that in that moment, but no, I'm not. Um, right. But it was the road that got me to to where I'm at because mm -hmm. it started planting seeds of, of thought and of, um, of of action or thoughts that then turned into actions of how mm -hmm. I was then able to to change me kind of one choice one behavior at a time. Wow! So so it changed from so now instead I'm I'm getting up to read a chapter in. Mm -hmm family care mm -hmm. instead of having the bottle of wine for breakfast. Right. So it's those little things that, that kind of moved the trajectory a little bit. Well, and I love mm -hmm. that you said that. It was one decision at a time. Mm -hmm. For those that are out there, don't right. think that it's going to happen overnight no. or no. all at once. No, no it will Kimber took one step, one step at a time mm -hmm. to make her better. And right. I thought I just wanted to make sure to point that out that those out there, it was just one choice at a time. Well, and I didn't get to that that rough and tough place by by one magic choice. Come on. Right, That's it was good. one little choice after one little choice that that got me there, and so I had to dig out of that canyon. Mm -hmm. But isn't that I had how, to unclimb that tree? You know, yeah, how many how metaphors? So many people believe that though. Right. Is that oh my gosh, right. I'm going to make one decision right. that's going to change everything. Right. But you made ten decisions to Correct. get to where you are. Right. Well, and you hear the phrase, you know, I'm I'm one decision away from. Mm -hmm. No, actually, no. no. You're one decision away from the next decision that will get you to the next that's decision good, that then changes. That's, that's good. That's all that is. Um, so with the self love and and with the the counseling and and that that degree, you know, I, I graduated. I finished. And Congratulations. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Um, actually, part of it, then I had this, this God miracle happen in my life, and it, it moved us back home. And that was, that was miracle one. That was September 28th of 2013. And so it, it, all these different dates kind of, they still float in my head, and mm -hmm. they, they, all, they mean something to me. Oh, yeah. Um, but when moving into that and then coming back into work and then I got to work with kids and using my counseling degree who are suffering all of this trauma and suffering from the, mm -hmm. this chronic stress and toxic stress and through helping them, I'm realizing 
I'm helping me too. Mm. I, just last night I had a meeting with a caseworker and a, a, a foster parent of a, a girl that I got to help and, and she actually helped me more wow. than, than I probably helped her. Um, just because you're able to, when, when you can pour out into someone, that's mm -hmm. actually the, the truest form of, of yes. love. Yeah. Isn't that the most beautiful thing yeah. is when you're serving someone else and you're honestly serving them with your heart. It's so amazing that right. what happens to right. you in return. Yeah. She poured back into mm -hmm. you, but it was because you were serving. Well, and it was so intense. There was no space for me to think mm -hmm. about me in that mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. um, but neither did she extract something from me that I didn't have to give. I had that to give to her. Now, mm. I still had my phone on Do Not Disturb because I had other people right. that you extract things from me that I don't have. Right. I don't have a reservoir of that for you. Right. I have this for her. Right. right. And being able to differentiate who you can pour into and give to mm -hmm. and then who you're like, mm, not today. Yeah. Maybe have later. you heard that saying that not everyone is our assignment? Oh. Oh, yeah. that's a powerful And statement. your lack of planning is not an emergency on my part. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> that's oh. one of my favorite ones. That is yeah. one of my favorite. <laughs> that's you good know, right there. Being a business owner, we often encounter mm -hmm. that. Yes. yes. Um, and you have to, to balance. It's well, and in counseling too, because so, so I, I, I do help people through counseling, um, but then I, I also go to counseling. And mm -hmm. I, think it's, I think it's just as important as eating a healthy diet as I think it is uh, feeding your spiritual man, your, your mm -hmm. spiritual being, as it is having good times with, with good friends. I think that the, the stigma is ridiculous. It is. Um, because Very. the epidemic of mental illness in our country and among women especially, yes. Um, and, and, and women, minority women too. I mean, I'm, yes. I'm not a minority in the fact of, of my race, but I'm a minority in the fact that I'm a single mom. Yes. yes. And so, so there's, there's, un, there, there are limited resources in that way. And so yes. we've, we've put the stigma, this, um, is this persona that we have to have it all together. Yes. And, and through counseling, I've actually learned the, the just this last few weeks, um, the, the phrase that I've, I've used is sweet and strong. Mm -hmm. And like it's that. how can I do both, and then when do I do which, mm -hmm. and how do I how do I pull that tool out and and to know which time it it is to use like is it time to be sweet or mm -hmm. is it time to be strong, and then how can I be strong and sweet at the same time? That's good because the the counseling part of me the 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 researcher in me goes my brain cannot do two things at one mm -hmm. time because our brains aren't wired. Now you can. Mm -hmm. They say multitask, and that's just going from one thing to another quickly. Right. But I want to be able to merge them in that I can speak the truth in love. Yes. Um, one of the things for self-love, and then it kind of merges into boundaries, is Exodus 14, 14, which, you know, the children of Israel, they're complaining, and basically the scripture says, God will fight for you, and you, you shut your mouth. Mm -hmm. wow. And mm -hmm. that's the, ver I love that version, because wow. it's the message version. Yeah. Um, and it, it's just... Uh, <laughs> A little bit of my personality, like, and you, yeah, you, you shut your mouth. Yeah, like it's it's done. Yeah. Your 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 time is up. You stop talking. We know exactly uh, how we need to, <laughs> yes. to speak to us, yes. right? Yes, yes. With the boldness of. And I think that that's that's good to. I'm not taking a license with the scripture, no. but I'm putting it into my vocabulary. Right. Yes. Just just like when we we're raising kids, you know, you put it into their vocabulary so they understand exactly. it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I need to be able to to comprehend it and to internalize it so that I can then bring it forth because exactly right. Abraham Lincoln once learned, stayed learned. Right. Yeah. And that's what I need it, I need it to be. I need when to you be realized, stayed learned. When you realized that, you know what, going to counseling is going to help me. What did you notice in the moments of you being able to share and really get things out? How did you notice when you were starting to make that turn that it became more natural for you? to really just share um, because that's what some of our viewers yes. are they don't think it'll be natural and they're scared to go right they're nervous to go because well of because the you see all the movies and it's right. like it's not going to be robin williams staring at you mm -hmm. and waiting and you're having exactly. all this silence yeah. and it's not going to be some gray-haired man with his legs crossed with a clipboard mm -hmm. um i mean my my counselor she's she's a friend of mine she mm -hmm. i mean and, and not outside of counseling but um, we connect and, yes. and we, so we have this, it, it's almost like this sacred conversation that you know, whatever you say is kept confidential 
and and there is no judgment because yes. then we have it, it is a conversation it's not just me going in there and and then she said this and he did that yeah. and this mm -hmm. happened and this yeah. happened. now sometimes i did have to kind of okay let me back it up and let me let me tell you how it unfolded so mm -hmm. you can help me figure out what i should do instead mm -hmm. and one of the things that she taught me was i just feels like it's taking so much energy from you it's just, it's taking so much from you. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, and, and a big thing that she says is, I'm wondering if, and, and I know that we're about to, mm -hmm. we're about to go into something because she's wondering. <laughs> <laughs> but I love that. I love how you've, you've kind of peeled off the, the stigma. That it is oh, an it's open conversation. No, it's an it's open conversation. Scary. And one thing, so you asked when I knew that it was, I, I was kind of mm -hmm. more comfortable with it. So when I went in, I, I would kind of recount the, the last three days because sometimes I went twice a week because mm -hmm. it, was, it was so rough for a long right. time. And then it was once a week, and, and now I go twice a month. Mm -hmm. um, but it's to, it is to recount just to kind of purge all of it out of mm -hmm. this is what I'm dealing with and this is what I've faced. Um, but then it's, there was a, a, a session when I said, you know what? I am, I'm really tired of this situation mm -hmm. and, and that one taking up my whole hour with you. Mm, that's good. Here's something I've actually been thinking about. Like I'm, I'm actually struggling with, and it was something from way beyond recent history mm -hmm. back into childhood that I'm going, I wonder if this thing has anything to do with what I'm living oh, that's now. That's good. And it, whenever I shut it down and said, I'm done talking about that and, and those situations and those people. I want to talk about me. That's good. I love That's that. You good. made the shift from someone else, someone else, or these situations yes. to, okay, I'm going to look at me. This is about right. me. Yeah. Right. right now, this is me. Right. I'm paying for it. I'm, I'm paying Come you on. to help me. I know. Me. That's right. And, and here I am telling you all their whole story. I got stuff. Right. That's good. <laughs> I can yeah. yeah. help yeah. with this. That's, and, and, and then working through different um, strategies and, and, and keeping in touch with her going, I just had an encounter, but mm -hmm. I feel really good about it. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what? I didn't, I didn't reach back out. I didn't, I didn't give a that's full good. explanation. And that's one thing, too, with self-love and self-care and the boundaries. You don't have to explain everything. Oh, that's good right there. You can just yes. have an answer, a simple answer and it's done. Yes, yes. You don't have to explain mm. your no. That's one or of my, my yes. biggest things. Are my oh, yes. I don't that's have to. So good. I do not have to explain it to you. That's another lesson that Mom taught me was you don't have to. You don't have to say everything you know. That is. You don't so have good. to explain everything. That is so good. <laughs> I have just enjoyed talking with Kimber Jones. Just valuable information. But we also know that she has a um, a blog. Is I do. That right. I do. I do. Because she really, honestly, opens up and talks to women and men. But just, she opens up who she is, what she's walked through. But I love that you're just so transparent, but you're really also just so real. So real. I mean, everything else takes extra work. So <laughs> you, you've taken the mask off yes. for the most part. We mentioned. I mean, it, with, with, with the other people that, that I'm connected to, I don't look at it as a mask. I still mm -hmm. look at that as a boundary, mm -hmm. and that's that is me protecting me and protecting you. It's it's not a I'm not fake about it. That's right. But I don't have to tell everything I know. Yeah, that's I good. don't have to. Not everybody needs to know every single detail because then that just turns into gossip, that's so and that's good. not life giving. That how, is so good. How does the audience find your blog? So I'm at kimberjjones.blogspot.com. Um, and we're going to be kind of starting to feature a book on Sweet and Strong. Oh, so, Sweet so and Strong. Yep. Speaking that it. into existence. Yes, so, I love it. Exactly. So it's, uh, I was really frustrated because what I was reading for self-care, it was always a memory. It was always someone writing from their, their history, their past tense. Right. Mm -hmm. And I just, but I want to know what you're doing right now. Right. Like, today. In the middle yes. of, like you are in the actual trench. What did you do Tuesday? That's yes. good. That's yes. good. And so that's, that I, and I don't even know that it's going to be for anybody except for me, and, and that's okay. Yeah. That's exactly right. Because that is perfectly okay. I'm that's sure, why I write it for yeah, me. I'm sure it's going to be for so many more than just you. I hope so, but that's not the reason. Yeah. I love it. What I want you to know is that if you're having any issues in the areas of forgiveness, boundaries, and self-love, make sure that you reach out. You've heard today the healthiness of having, excuse me, the healthiness of having 
therapy. Therapy is healthy. Yes. So what we want you to know today is, please find a place for someone you can talk to, that you can open up to. But most of all, love yourself. If you're gonna do anything else, love you because you are important. And we'll be right back. Let's be honest, making a lukewarm marketing video is fairly simple, but who wants lukewarm marketing? Instead, how about something that conveys your unique message? Well, that takes creativity, and creative is what we are. We design custom logos. We even offer professional print services. Our goal is to showcase how good your idea is, no matter what your product is. Whether it's social media marketing for a new author, or the artwork for the book itself, we can help. If you've created a new app and need a TV commercial to show it to the world, we can help. Now, they're Stork Advisor. If you're a photographer trying to show off your work in a unique way, we can help. Need a promo for your TV show? We can help with that, too. It's Couch Time with Sonia. We're an artistic bunch, and we love the creative process. We're not trying to be the best in Houston. We're trying to be the best for you. CEO Delia Davis is making history by becoming the youngest African-American female to own a television station in the nation. Along with her colleague, President Crystal Holmes, these women are becoming a part of the 1.3% African-American television station ownership. Get ready for Iconic Television, an all-new channel coming to your TV on KVVV Channel 15.10. Covering Houston's local inspiration, entertainment, health, wellness, fitness, family, visual artists, comedians, and more. Streaming 24-7 on IconicTelevision.com. Be sure to stay tuned for the latest and greatest on Iconic Television, where everyone can be iconic. Welcome to Golden Opportunities, where I highlight entrepreneurs, artists, and authors. I'm your girl, Sabrina Golden. And today I have with me Treats by Tiger. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, Sabrina. I see you have so many delicious things on here that I'm waiting to try. <laughs> yes, I did bring a couple of items, just a little snippet of some things that I do. Mm -hmm. I brought some cheesecakes. I have mm -hmm. a lemon cheesecake, a turtle cheesecake, a chocolate Love cheesecake, that. and traditional cheesecake in the front. Mm -hmm. Some of our pralines. Yum. We have some gumbo. Ooh. Some Tiger Speaking Spice my Chicken and the rice to go with the gumbo. Okay. And also our specialty season that goes on the Tiger Spice. Mm. So where did you get the name Tiger from? Well, in actuality, I was born the year of a tiger. I mm -hmm. love tigers. And it just kicked in because LSU, TSU, oh, oh. Yeah. tigers. That's her trademark. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> so, okay. What are your specialties here? This is, are your specialties here? Actually, the gumbo and the pralines are my specialties. Okay. So I made sure I brought those so you can taste the essence of Tree Spot Tiger, the Texas Lanes mm -hmm. in me. For me being from New Orleans, coming mm -hmm. from Texas, mm -hmm. it's Texas Orleans. Awesome. Okay, so you want to tell okay. me more about your gumbo? And everything? Sure thing. Well, today's gumbo, we have chicken, okra, and a little mm -hmm. sausage in it mm -hmm. with a little brown roux. Okay. We have our tiger spice chicken right here with the tiger spice. It has a Caribbean twist with a little bit of Texas and Orleans. So a little flavor. bit of jerk? Yes, jerk oh, flavor yeah. going on with it. And then you have the traditional white rice. Okay. <laughs> so when you come over here, we have our turtle cheesecake in front, mm -hmm. our chocolate cheesecake, our lemon cheesecake. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. And in the front, we also have our original cheesecake as well. Yum. And then the famous tiger pralines right here in the front. We have some that's a little dark and chocolatey taste and a traditional flavor with pecans. Some of them have no pecans at all. So for those who have allergens, I do the non um, nuts. Mm -hmm. Then I have pecans, almonds, walnuts, Brazil nuts, almost any nut you can think of, I'll put into a praline. 
Yeah. We're coming up soon where we're gonna have some liqueur or liquor inside our pralines too for those who want milk while they <laughs> eat some pralines. <laughs> Sweet and liquor, huh? Yes. <laughs> so, um, how long have you been catering? I've been catering for about ten years. We revamped about four years ago now. Okay, awesome. So where they where can they find you? They can find me online at www.treespotiger.com <laughs> or either on Facebook, Tree Spot Tiger, Instagram, Tree Spot Tiger, on Twitter, Tiger74, or either text me or call me at 832-815-8807. Again, it's Tiger Porsche. <laughs> we're back. If you missed either of the segments prior to this break, be sure you go back and watch it. You don't want to miss anything that Kimber Jones shared today. And we thank you so much, Kimber, for being thank on the couch with us today. We well, can't wait it. till Sweet and Strong that's comes right. out. That's right. You make sure you stay, stay to her website. Kimber J. Jones. Kimber J. Jones. Make sure you constantly follow so that you will be the first to know when her book drops. We thank you so much for sharing with us today, and we hope that you have definitely been blessed yes. by this episode today. And we'll see you next time. Bye. I'm ready for this. Are you ready for couch time with Sanya? Sometimes you need to hear something that will help you grow. Or maybe need a break. Refreshing for your mind and soul. We'll take a seat, cause we got It's couch time with Sonia. Let's go.